Today I'm going to show you how to make these glitched Discord videos that have these links here on the screen. I was going to say all of them, but it's just too much words. So look at what you get. I'm going to show you how to make them. Now before I get started, I just want to point out that this won't magically increase the length of the video. For example, this video that I have here is 28 seconds. So after someone watches this video, despite the duration that it says on Discord, after 28 seconds the video will stop. Now that that's out of the way, we're going to go to a website called HexEdit, and this is going to be the first link in the description, and we're now going to modify our video files to have these weird durations. Now it is different for WebM and MP4 files, so I'm going to start with MP4 files. So click open file up at the top left, go to your MP4 file, open it up. And what we want to do is we want to search for MVHD, just like that, and click find next. Then once you do that, you want to type in 03 space E8. Make sure there's a space or it won't work, then click next. And you should highlight this thing here, 0, 03 and E8. This whole entire section of bytes is what we're going to modify to make our videos all glitched out. Now for the first glitched video, I'm going to make it so that it is 69,694 minutes and 20 seconds long. So to do that, what you first need to do is just go into Google and find the duration that you want. I'm going to be using, you know, 69,694 minutes and 20 seconds. Just Google that and convert it to milliseconds. Then you want to copy this number. Then we're going to go to the second link in the description and it's going to be rapid tables. Then we want to make sure that we're on decimal to hexadecimal. We want to paste in our number, click convert. Then we want to take note of these numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that hex editor on the right here and have these numbers on the left here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace the four bytes after E8 with our numbers here. So after E8, I'm going to put in F9, then I'm going to put 3F, 1160. And now that I've done that, I can click Save As, and I'm going to save this video as 6969420. Now that it's saved, it should save in my downloads. So I'm going to go to my downloads, and you will see 6969420 MP4. And if I throw that into Discord, you'll notice that once it uploads, Kaboom. The video is now 69,694 minutes and 20 seconds. So you can do that with any time number. Just make sure that if you have a custom duration that your numbers here are 0, 3, and E8 because we will be modifying it for our next weird video. Now for the next type of video, we're going to make a super duper duper long video. So what we need to do is at the 0, 3, and E8, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to replace 0, 3 with 0, 0, and E8 with 0, 1. Then for the next four bytes, I'm actually going to do 0, 0, then FF, FF, FF. Then click save as, and we're going to save it. And after I upload it, we now have this super duper duper long video. Just... It's insanely long. Now for the next type of video, we're going to make it really, really long, but negative time. So to do that, we want to replace the 0, 0 with FF. And the rest of these FFs just make it 0, 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Once again, as a quick reminder, we are only dealing with these eight bytes here. Do not go outside of these bounds or else you might have some weird issues that I just won't be able to help you with because I have barely no idea what I'm doing. Now save it as negative super long, and all I need to do is just drag the negative super long video into Discord, and guess what? Now it's around the same time, but negative. And finally, the very last video with MP4s is we can make it so that it is only negative one second long, and to do that, just make the last four bytes all FF. So FF, 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 and putting it in Discord and clicking play, you'll notice that it is negative one second or negative 10. We, I don't know. It's just that messed up. You also notice that if you click play, the, the, the numbers just, <laughs> they just go ballistic on you, okay? It's wonderful. This, this is definitely my favorite one. Now that's the end of the MP4 files that we can modify or the things we can do with MP4. So now I'm going to move on to WebMs and it is a different process. So that's why there's a whole new section for it. But what you want to do is open up the file, go to the WebM, and we want to search for 2AD7B1 press find next, then we want to search for 448988 and press find next. Now once you search for 44, 89, and 88, you're going to have these 8 bytes after that are actually really important, and this is the duration of the video. Now if we want it so that the video will kind of like change in duration as the video kind of continues, then what we want to do is we want to just go to the second byte or the second group of numbers and just put in 00. zero. Then once you do that, click Save As, and we're going to save it as Changing Length WebM. You can really call it whatever you want. Then once you do that, we can upload this bad boy to Discord, and guess what? It starts off at 2 seconds, it increases to 4, 5, you know, 
it just goes. Now the next easy thing we can do is make the video so that it's zero seconds long. And to do that, what we want to do is just make every single byte in this group of eight bytes zero. So zero, 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 zero. Just keep in mind that I am changing the eight bytes after 44, 89, and 88. So these eight bytes here. Bytes are basically just a group of two characters for hexadecimal. It's very nerdy stuff, but if you set it to all zeros and click save as, and we're just gonna call this zero duration, click save, and once I upload it to Discord, you'll notice it's zero seconds long, even though the video is playing. It's pretty cool. Now, finally, the last thing that we're gonna do is create a custom duration video. So this is kind of like what I did with the MP4, but the process is different because WebM just has different number stuff. What we need to do is we need to go to the third link in the description and you will see this floating point to X converter. And what we wanna do is we want to first figure out what number we want to pick. I'm going to do 69,694 minutes and 20 seconds, just like I did for the MP4. So go into Google, convert it to milliseconds, then just copy this number. Then we're going to go to this floating point to hex converter, go to double value, paste in those milliseconds, click convert to hex, and then it will convert it to a hex value. And what we need to do is we just need to copy this hex value into our hex editor. So I'm gonna expand this out just so we don't get lost here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace these eight bytes, the eight bytes after the 44, 89, and 88 with the hex value here. So I'm just gonna type it out, 41EF27E22C, and then 0000000, zero, 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 zero. then click save as, I'm gonna call this 6969420 WebM baby. And uploading it to Discord, it will bear the same beautiful fruit of 6969420, but it's in a WebM format. And that's it. That's how you change the length of WebMs and M4s using a hex editor. You don't need to download anything. And this is about as much knowledge as I was able to figure out within like the four to five hours I was studying this because it's a little tricky, to be honest. There is a little bit more stuff you can do, but I haven't figured it out yet, unfortunately, but that's the way life goes. Anyways, have fun using this, and uh, feel free to piss off your friends, okay? Bye, love you, sweetheart. Mwah!